This is the Amazfit Neo. It's sort of a combination between a very classic digital watch combined with some fitness tracking features like sleep tracking, heart rate tracking, and what's it called? Exercise tracking and all that kind of stuff. So we're gonna unbox this thing today and we're gonna see what's up with this thing. So this costs about 600 rand on takealot.com. You can also get this obviously on like other places like Amazon. So let's go ahead and unbox this thing. Let's hope I don't need some scissors. This watch has got things like heart rate, monitoring, sleep monitoring, and always on display, which considering it's just like a basic LCD, isn't really a massive achievement. It also claims a 28 day battery life and then also five atmospheres of water resistance, which is about 50 meters. Look at the back, there really isn't much to say. It's got Bluetooth 5.0 and some um, other stuff. So let's go ahead and open this up. So, okay, so you grab this thing, you pull it out. If it doesn't break, you pull it out. So we go to the last one. And then you open up this bit. You have two things here, so I'm gonna use this thing to pull it out like that. If you look inside, you have nothing except for this top part I just destroyed. Okay, then we have in here what looks to be some a really thick user manual, which we're gonna need later on. But here is the actual watch that we want to look at right here put up the side and then we'll open up this thing which is the charging this is the charging cable a usb type a which won't go out of date anytime soon and have this thing it's made out of a plastic it's got a matte finish as well you just up the exposure a bit so you can see it a bit better yeah there it is so of course we are here for the watch not everything else so here it is, I chose the black color. There's a bright red color that you can also get. I went for black. I like things to be subtle. Except for my MacBook over here, which should be a... I wanted to get space gray, but I wasn't patient enough to wait for a space gray version. So, you go ahead and pull this thing like that, and like that. And here it is, it's, it's so light. It's actually crazy, bro. It's, it's like, the only things that are like this light are usually like some really horrible products that you buy. <laughs> but this one, I hope it's actually good and not just like light and useless, but this thing is like basically weightless. I don't think I've ever felt a watch this light. Obviously I haven't owned like anything <laughs> super fancy, but like still this is one of the lightest watches I've ever tried. So you can see the sensors on the back here and you got some four screws at the back. You've got this sort of plastic finish here. It's not exactly anything fancy. Kind of reminds me of like those cheap Casio knockoff watches that I used to wear as a kid. So hopefully this kind of thing lasts you. So then have a look at this thing right here. So I'm gonna need to read the manual to find out what's up with this thing. But so far, it looks pretty nice. Actually, let me wear it. So you turn it on by holding the power button. What's the power button? You hold down this leg button for about two seconds. One, two, it's dead. After putting it in the charger for a while, I managed to get it to turn on, as you can see. Then I go had to go ahead and download the Zep Life app, which is how we're going to be able to connect a smartwatch to our phone. So I then had to also register and all that stuff. And after like 20 minutes of trying to get it to connect, I finally managed to do it. In the watch updates, it kind of looks like this. Just gives you a percentage, and you can see the up logo there. But you can still see the clock going, which is pretty nice. The date and time just synced automatically, which is very nice. So even if this watch goes out of sync, whenever you connect it to your phone, it should automatically get the right time. So that's actually one advantage that you'd have by having a Bluetooth connected device compared to just a normal analog watch. Obviously it's not like you have to change the time that much, but and you also have this smiley logo, which you can see hopefully. Yeah, it also happens when you pair to this watch. It of course got multiple modes, like modes, I guess. So the first one is the step counter, then the other one is how far you've walked, 67 meters, calories burnt, the temperature 14 to 32, it just gives it the range. Then you have to know disturb mode, you have a stopwatch, an alarm I think, which I'm not sure what that means. Then the heart rate, which I'm not busy with now. And then whatever this is, I think it's a water clock or something. We'll check those out later. Okay, so we can actually set up the Mazefit app now. So. Let's do that before my camera dies. Okay guys, so here's the Mazefit app. So uh, you can control which, if you want to get incoming call alerts, 
you can get your watch alarms which you can set multiple of them which is pretty nice which is more than like you get in like some Casio watches so that's a very nice advantage you can get notifications if you want then you can also get idle alert the sedentary reminder which every single cheap smartwatch where I've always mentioned this one even though I don't think it's like a selling point for a lot of people or maybe I'm wrong and of course you get SMS's and Google notifications obviously you don't get the full text because the screen doesn't really have enough space to display any full text you can get heart rate detection and control frequency and all that stuff you can do discoverability real-time data you can tell people which wrist it's on left wrist to view info which is nice so you can turn off the display and then every time you lift it it'll turn on you also get display settings where you can choose which of these widgets or whatever you want to have on your device you have an hourly chime just like you would on a like, casio watch so thank you for watching and i'll see you in another video later